Hey guys, welcome to Design Vice. In today's tutorial, I'm just gonna teach you how to export your 2D drawings to uh, Illustrator if you wanna make uh, like planes, as I'm gonna show you in this case. And, and it's actually quite easy. I'm gonna show you the workflow that I usually do with this small example that I have here of a uh, two bedroom apartment. Um, I've just quickly put in some um, furniture and uh, just to show you how I, I usually deal with that. What I'm gonna start doing is that I'm gonna go to my layers panel and I'm gonna define the different uh, things I have in my 2D drawing. So like I have the outer or in this case just call it walls and furniture and then I'm also gonna make one for the doors and I'm gonna select the different colors for it. I'm just gonna choose something random. Um, like this. Then I'm gonna choose like my walls, uh, like this. And I'm gonna put them in the walls layer, like that. And I'm just gonna join them up here as well. That's the scene to have, like that. Just gonna do it once again. Put them in walls like that. Then I'm gonna take the furniture, which in this case is gonna be the bed. And these lockers here. Like that. Put them in the furniture and then I'm gonna take the doors. These three doors here. And put them in the doors. And I'm gonna make one more called windows. Just gonna grab a green for those. This is gonna be my window. I've just quickly drawn like different components. It's not like I would usually go with this layout, so uh, bear that in mind. But um, yeah, so now the model looks like this. You can see we have this, and this has not been connected, so I'm just gonna trim these and I'm gonna press insert and I'm gonna join them. And I'm gonna put them in the layer again, like that. So now we have like prepped the model for, uh, yeah, Illustrator export. What I usually keep in mind here is what the what size the paper is. You know, the paper that this uh, plan is gonna be on. Usually, I work with A3 or A4. Uh, let's take A3 in this case. So I'm actually gonna draw a A3 paper size down here and that's 420 millimeters by 29 to 7 millimeters so that's my a3 and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to scale this to a specific yeah scale uh, let's try with one to one to 100 so if you write scale just press enter and then you could just write one divided by 100 then it's going to be one to 100 scale like that and i'm going to move it down onto this paper then you can see like how big it's gonna be on your presentation. We could maybe have gone with like 1 to 50 here. So if we just scale it up by uh, 2 like that, now it's 1 to 50. And then I'm just gonna move it into here. It's very important that when you export to Illustrator that, that your export is in uh, 0 0.0.0. .0 or close to it because if it's like way out here like uh, a thousand of kilometers away then when you export it to illustrator it's also going to be like very far away and you won't be able to find it so make sure that you are very close to this point here when you export so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to choose everything here and i'm going to go to file and export selected and when you do that you can um, you can uh, go down to the file type and choose Adobe Illustrator. I'm just gonna write test here and press uh, save. And then I'm just gonna preserve model scale and one millimeter equals one millimeter and press okay. Then we're gonna go over to Illustrator. Just gonna wait for that to start.
then once you're in Illustrator, you're gonna go to Open and choose your uh, destination. Here it's Test. Press Open, and it's gonna open up the export, and that's gonna look like this. And you can change the paper size here to yeah the A3. Uh, you can see right now mine's in points, so I'm just gonna go to Files and say Document here and choose millimeters and now it's in millimeters so i'm just going to press 420 here so that's the paper size like that and then you can just take your outer paper size here you made in rhino and do like that and then just delete it so now you have it have it in illustrator and you have it in the layers that you exported it in which will, of course makes it easier for you to like select it and Let's say these walls are gonna be black like this. The doors will have like a light gray, uh, like this, and they might even have like, uh, yeah, you know, you can go for whatever kind of layout you want. By doing this, we can, of course, say 0.3 millimeters instead, like that. Uh, yeah, you can do everything you wanna do, right? So you can just choose the layers. And, and get the, the looks you want. And of course, take the windows as well and maybe also give them a light gray, like that. So you can see now we made actually a quite, not perfect plan drawing, but it looks quite nice. And you can uh, of course also uh, change the, um, the order of the, the layers. So if I want this furniture to be underneath the, the walls like they are now, or above the walls, I can just you know move the layers. So yeah, that's uh, how easy it is to export from Rhino to Illustrator. And remember to yeah scale it in Rhino. That uh, that's a thing I would recommend because if this was one to one, you know, when you get into Illustrator, it's gonna be huge and it's gonna go above this edge here, which is not something Illustrator likes. Uh, so yeah, remember to scale it in Rhino and uh, put it in the layers you want to work with in uh, Illustrator. And uh, yeah, that's how you, that's how easily you uh, make an export from Rhino to Illustrator. Uh, yeah, I hope you learned something new and if you did, please like and subscribe and peace.